it's like a snowball effect that like one thing can provide for so much. If we do one bad thing, it's going to do bad things for a long time. If we do good things, then it's going to, you know, it's going to become the normal thing, right? That we have a solar powered high school, that, that could be the normal thing in Canada and maybe even like a few years. Every one of our, our projects or the programs start with a conversation where we work with community members to figure out what would work well for them and, and serve the needs of the larger community. The greenhouse is just going to be a natural fit, kind of a tool to kind of augment what they already have going on. And a big part of kind of the, the whole program as a whole was having the 13 students build it. So they build one of the design projects, kind of a larger one, um, but now they're, they're kind of starting their own. So I had a chance opportunity of meeting Evan from Focus Forward in Kingston. They were doing the construction side of things and we had always been working with youth on the design side. So it was a perfect natural fit to come together and we look forward to working with them in the future. So it'd be nice to have another spot for people to come more I think. <laughs> be like bleachers on the side, lights so you could like play at night, like just like do everything. Maybe like a mural on the concrete. So working with the Wikwamakan youth was really special for number nine. We do feel like design has the ability to create dialogue. And when working on a community together, you often exchange ideas. The indigenous culture has such rich heritage when it comes to living sustainably. They understand how to work with nature, and we can learn so much from that. like a really disrespectful way to live if you just like you know that there's something wrong but you don't do anything about it. <laughs>